Hello, everybody. Anton Crilly here from Dropship Lifestyle. And in today's episode, I want to talk about how to dropship with guaranteed profit margins. Now, what happens so often is people want to get into this business. They find a product they want to sell. They build a Shopify store. They look, they do their research. They see what their top two or three competitors are listing product A, B, C for, and they list it for that same price. Then they get some traffic, they get a sale, and then they realize that there's no money left over because after cost of goods sold, after the shipping expense, if they're offering free shipping, after cost of ads to acquire that customer, after merchant fees and anything else you're paying, costs can add up. So if you want to drop ship profitably, my best advice is to start knowing where your margins are and you can work backwards from there. So I am gonna show you how to do this in just a minute, but just know one of the amazing things about this business is that you really do control your profits. You can figure this out before you even list a product for sale on your store, but does that mean if all of your competitors are selling a product for $500 and the margin's very tiny, that you can then just list it for 1,000 and have a massive margin? No, of course not, because people are gonna buy it from the person or people that are listing it for half price. So there is a very specific way to do this, and the one that I wanna talk about in today's episode is by doing it with the use of MAP suppliers. Now, MAP stands for Minimum Advertised Price, and this is basically a policy that you will receive from a MAP supplier, or brand if you wanna call it that, when you become an authorized retailer to sell their products. So again, M, Minimum, A, Advertised, P, Price. And I'll just give you a quick example of this. Um, right now, there is a, uh, there's a desk behind me, right? Let's say minimum advertised price from the brand that made that desk was $800. That would mean if I sold it, the lowest I could list it for would be $800. And if you sold it, the lowest you can list it for would be $800. And then we get into a place where we're not competing on price, but we know the margins are locked in. Again, what I call the spread, the difference between wholesale and MAP, minimum advertised price, that's locked in. And then other expenses, we can work to keep as small as possible, again, to then ensure us our profitability. But we're not just going to make up a price for this and say, everybody else is selling it for $800. Let's sell it for $600 so everybody chooses us. Because one, you can't do that because it's a map supplier. And two, even if you did, you would get sales, but they would not be profitable. So what I want to do is just give you some examples of what this might look like when you become an authorized retailer to sell for different brands on the dropship model. Let's just go again with this desk for an example. And let's say the wholesale cost, this is something you would receive from the supplier when you became an authorized retailer. Let's say the wholesale for this desk, and we'll call it desk, and we'll give it a creative name like one, two, three, and we'll, see, we'll say wholesale for this product was $400, okay? That would mean that was our cost. After we sold one, we would then pay the supplier $400 for that product, our cost of goods sold. Now, MAP is, again, what we would list it for. You don't have to. You can list it for more. But what you're going to find if you get into dropshipping is basically all of your competitors will also be selling on MAP. Again, the beauty of this is we're not competing on price. We then can do other things to get people to choose us over our competitors. But price is not going to be that decision maker because they're not going to find it cheaper anywhere else. Now, let's just say for this example, the supplier gave us a term sheet. Again, this is something you would sign when you became an authorized retailer. And that might say that MAP is equal to 2X wholesale. So I'll just put W for wholesale. What would that mean? How do we determine what MAP is? Well, in this case, we simply take our 400, which is our wholesale. We multiply it by two. And then we know MAP for this product would be $800. So if we sell one at MAP, we have $400 left over. And again, from there, we'll pay for our ad costs, which we would spend up to $80 to get an $800 sale. We're willing to go up to 10% of the product price. Shipping, if we offer free shipping, and again, any other expenses you might have. But we know that we have at least this guaranteed. And again, we can work on all of our other expenses from there. Now, one way, again, suppliers might present MAP to you is by giving you the actual formula to use to do the math and figure out what is this going to equal. By the way, if they do give this to you, really quick, easy tip is open up a Google Sheet or open up Excel, have all of the wholesale prices, and then use a simple formula in the next column and make it equals 2x, right? Equals uh, A1 times 2, equals A1 times 2.5, whatever map is. Drag that thing down. You have all your uh, map prices. Now, they don't always do it this way. Some suppliers might actually send you a price list that includes both things. So it might have here, we'll put 
switch back in the colors for anybody that's watching the video version of this. We might have the first column be the product, so we did say desk one, two, three, and then it would have a column for wholesale. In this case, again, we're gonna keep the numbers the same because it's easier. We'll say wholesale is 400, and then it might have another column that has map, and here, maybe it has 800, right? Which in this case would be 2X, but then maybe it has desk, we'll do one, two, four. And maybe desk one, two, four, the wholesale price of it is 400, but map for that product is $900, right? This is also another way that suppliers might present you with this information. In that case, the spread, right? The difference would be $500. So what you're going to find as you get authorized and approved to sell for more and more brands is that every supplier is not created equal in terms of what the actual margins are. And even more so, product to product, the margins might not be the same, right? Again, they're not always a formula. So what I would encourage you to do is, of course, try to find map suppliers when you can. Quick tip for that is as you're doing product research, let's say you find brand one, two, three that you want to sell for, go Google them, pull up some competitor stores, look for some of their products, and then go back to Google and search for those product names. Click on Google Shopping and see what other people are listing them at. And if all the prices are the same, that's a very good indicator that this is a map supplier. Also, just one more quick note on that is the way you find suppliers with these kinds of policies is to become an authorized retailer for them, not to go through a supplier directory or a middleman or anything like that, because that is not going to get you any type of map pricing and probably much less of a spread, as I call it, between wholesale and what your competitors are selling at. Because again, we do not want to compete on price. We do lots of things for optimizing for conversions. I have a whole module, module five of the Dropship Blueprint that covers all of them, but this is specifically what I wanted to share in this episode. Now, one more thing I think is also worth noting, maybe you're already up and running, you have a drop shipping store and you're thinking, you know, Anton, I already have different brands I'm approved to sell for, but I do not have map policies. They simply don't have them. Well, I recorded an episode, I don't even know when, it might've been a couple of years ago, but I'll promise you it's just as relevant today as it was then. And that episode is called How to Profit with Non-Map Suppliers, because yes, it is still possible and it's definitely doable, but there are some things to look out for. So if you wanna know about how to do that, I will link to that in the description of this episode. And what I really want for you to do, again, is get everything set up, maybe with map suppliers, maybe with not. Map is the easiest way to guarantee those margins. Set up your Shopify store, set up traffic the way I teach in the Dropship Blueprint, and then you can hear everyone's favorite sound. Sales coming through on Shopify. So guys, as always, I hope you got value from this episode. You know what to do if you did. Be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. And if you are for some reason not yet a member of my coaching program, Dropship Lifestyle, be sure to go to dropshipwebinar.com for a free training plus a special offer on the award-winning Dropship Blueprint. Link in description. Again, that is dropshipwebinar.com. So thank you all. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you in the next episode.